The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Psalm 121, 7 to 8. Lord, our creator and protector, we come before you now with open hearts and souls longing for your presence. We acknowledge our smallness in the face of your greatness, but we know that your ears are attentive to our pleas. Today, we want to intercede for our families and friends, those we love and who hold a special place in our hearts. O God of love, you who know each one by name and count the hairs on our heads, look with compassion upon the needs of our families. We know that many are facing difficulties, encountering challenges that seem greater than their strength. We ask that your mighty hand sustain and guide them through life's storms. Lord, you are the great physician, and we bow before you to plead for the health of our loved ones. Among us are those facing illnesses, chronic pains, and physical anguish. May your healing touch reach them, bringing relief and restoration. Grant wisdom to the doctors and healthcare professionals who care for them, and may your presence be felt in every hospital bed and every home where there is suffering. Loving Father, we intercede for the marriages in our families. We know that many face crises, misunderstandings, and the temptation to give up. Renew the love between spouses, rekindle the flame of commitment and fidelity. May each home reflect your unconditional love, becoming a place of forgiveness, understanding, and mutual growth. We cry out for our children and young people, Lord. The world surrounds them with so many negative influences, temptations, and paths that lead them away from you. We ask that your light shine brightly in their lives, that your word be a lamp to their feet. Give them discernment to make wise choices, courage to stand firm in their values, and an unshakable faith in you. Almighty God, look upon those among us facing unemployment or financial difficulties. You are the provider of all good things, and we trust that you know each one's needs. Open doors of opportunity, multiply resources, and teach us to be good stewards of what you have given us. May we experience your miracles of provision amidst economic struggles. We intercede for the elderly in our families, those who have walked a long journey and now face the challenges of old age. May they not feel alone or forgotten. Send people who value them, listen to their stories, and learn from their wisdom. Grant them health and vigor, and may they continue to be a blessing and inspiration to the younger generations. Lord, you who are the source of all wisdom, we ask for those who are in their study phase. From the children who are learning to read to the adults seeking specialization, may your light illuminate their minds. Grant them concentration, sharp memory, and understanding. May the knowledge gained be used to glorify your name and bless society. God of justice and mercy, we cry out for those in our families and circle of friends who have strayed from the right path. Some are trapped in addictions, Others have made decisions that led them away from you and the values they once embraced. We do not give up on them, Lord. Just as the father of the prodigal son, we are with open arms, awaiting their return. Touch their hearts, show them your unconditional love and the power of repentance and restoration. Heavenly Father, among us are those who suffer from depression, anxiety, and other emotional disorders. The weight they carry is often invisible to human eyes, but we know that you see and understand every pain. Surround them with your love, bring peace to their restless minds. May they find in you the refuge and strength for each new day. Lord, we intercede for the singles in our families and group of friends. Some long for a companion, others feel pressured by society. We ask that your will be done in their lives. If it is your desire that they find a partner, prepare the way for a blessed relationship. And for those called to singleness, may they find fulfillment and purpose in you, serving you with all their heart. God of all nations, we remember those among us who are far from home, whether for work, studies, or other circumstances. Protect them in foreign lands, help them adapt, and may they be a light wherever they are. Comfort the hearts of their families who feel longing and anxiety due to the distance. Loving Father, there are situations in our families that seem impossible to resolve old conflicts, deep hurts, broken relationships. Nothing is impossible for you, Lord. We ask for miracles of reconciliation, for softened hearts, and for your supernatural intervention. May forgiveness and love triumph over resentment and bitterness. 
Lord, we cry out for those who are grieving. The pain of loss is intense, and sometimes it feels like there is no sufficient consolation. Be the comforter, wipe their tears, bring sweet memories of those who have passed, and the hope of eternal life. In the midst of sorrow, may they experience your peace that surpasses all understanding. God of all grace, we ask for spiritual renewal in our families and circle of friends. May there be an awakening, a genuine desire to seek you and know you more deeply. Pour out your Holy Spirit, ignite the fire of passion for your word and your presence. May we be a generation that seeks you with all our hearts. We intercede for the couples who desire to have children and face infertility. You are the God who opens and closes the womb, who knows the deepest desires of each heart. If it is your will, grant the miracle of life, and if other paths like adoption are your plan, prepare their hearts and open the necessary doors. Lord, look with compassion upon those in our families who face addictions, whether it be drugs, alcohol, gambling, or any other dependency that enslaves and destroys. You are the deliverer, the only one capable of breaking all chains. Give them the strength to seek help, the courage to face recovery, and a new identity founded in you. God of all wisdom, we cry out for the leaders in our families, parents, grandparents, uncles, older siblings. Grant them discernment to guide with love, firmness to establish healthy boundaries, and humility to recognize their own shortcomings. May their example inspire the younger generations to follow your ways. Heavenly Father, among us are entrepreneurs, people who take risks and work hard to support their families and achieve their dreams. Bless the work of their hands. Give them creativity and resilience. May their businesses prosper, not only financially, but also be instruments of blessing and transformation in society. Lord, we intercede for the ministries and specific callings in our families. Some are pastors, others missionaries, teachers, or serve in various ways in your work. Renew their strength, protect them from the enemy's attacks, and may the fruit of their labor be abundant for your glory. God of all comfort, among us are those who carry deep wounds from the past, abuses, rejections, traumas. You are the restorer of broken lives. We ask that your light penetrate the darkest areas of their souls, bringing healing, deliverance, and a new identity in you. Loving Father, we cry out for the next generation in our families, the unborn children, the babies, the young children. May they grow up knowing you. May their hearts be fertile soil for your word. Protect them from evil. Surround them with your love, and may they become instruments of transformation in their generation. Lord, as we conclude this prayer, we want to express our gratitude for your faithfulness. We know that you hear every word, every sigh of our hearts. We trust that your answers will come at the right time and in the most perfect way, even if we do not always understand your ways. May every member of our families and each of our friends experience your love in a tangible way. May your presence be real in every home, in every relationship, and united by the bond of your love, may we be living witnesses of your power and grace in this world. In your powerful name we pray and believe. Amen. Dear listener, this intercessory prayer was created to touch hearts and lift our supplications to God on behalf of those we love. It covers many areas of family life and friendships, seeking to bring comfort, hope, and spiritual renewal. As you listened to this prayer, you likely identified with some of the situations mentioned, either in your own life or in the life of someone close to you. Intercession is a powerful act of love where we stand before God on behalf of another. Now, I would like to ask you a question for reflection. After hearing this prayer, what aspect of your family life or friendships do you feel needs more attention and continuous prayer? How do you plan to incorporate this specific intercession into your daily prayer life? Remember, prayer is a continuous conversation with God, and the more we practice, the closer we become to Him, and the more sensitive we become to the needs of those around us. May this prayer be a starting point for a deeper and more meaningful life of intercession.